Welcome back to Flash Custom Transfers. Today's video is showing you step by step how to get a sequence and glitter effect on your DTF transfers. No, this is not glitter DTF. This is a glitter effect. This is DTF. And we have a beautiful sequence and beautiful glitter here, all different types of colors. So please stay tuned if you are interested in learning how to create these glitter effects. All you will need is Canva Pro. Let's get straight into the video. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to flashcustomtransfers.com. Here we are here. And also disclaimer, you will need Canva Pro for this project. Uh, in order to export it correctly, you would need Canva Pro. So let's get started. We will go to flashcustomtransfers.com. If you can see, we already have our glitter and sequence packs here available on the home page. You can either click that banner or you can go right up here to digital download. So let's go ahead and hit digital download so you can see what else we got. Perfect. So we have our sparkle glitter pack. We have our shimmer sequence and we have our black and white animal print. Today's video will be about our sparkle and our, I'm sorry, our glitter and our sequence. Um, you would go ahead and click this and purchase the pack. Once you purchase, you will receive an email with your downloads. Same thing with our glitter. You just purchase it, $2.99, you will receive an image, I'm sorry, you will receive an email with your downloads. We also have Selena, we have some teacher downloads, and then our scary Halloween, our new Halloweens, and football and basketball. Again, you purchase those, you will receive a email with the downloads. These are not physical products. So we purchased those. Uh, we have the email sent to us. So now let's head over to Canva and create a gang sheet. So let's hit custom size here. So let's do a 22 by 24 gang sheet. Oop, always remember this needs to be in inches. So 22, okay, dang it. 22 by 24. And also in this custom, dimensions if you're doing a 22 by 36, 22 by 60, 22 by 12. Uh, it does not go up to 120, but you can submit two 60s. So once we submit that, this is our 22 by 12 gang sheet. Excuse me. Artboard. First thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to elements right here to the left and select frames. So these frames here that have the hill and the cloud will allow you to put pictures inside of those frames. So we're going to start with frames letters. Let's go ahead and these are all of the different types of letters that you can do. So let's go ahead and do flash. Start with an example. I'm going to put frames going to give me all the F's. So I get to choose which one do I like. I'm going to go ahead and choose this F here. I'm going to make my background a different color so I can see what is going on. There we go. I'm going to do gray. So we're going to go back over here and let's hit frames L. It's going to show me all my different L's. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this this theme. Okay, so you get what we're saying. You get you get what's going on. We're spelling out flash. And you can spell out whatever you want to spell out, whatever you need to spell out, or if you're doing numbers for a a team, a sports team, anything like that, whatever the case may be, uh, if you need that glitter or sequence design. So I'm just going to go ahead and fit these so I can show you what we're talking about. Oops, I got two H's. Perfect. 
All right, so like I said, we got our email already with our downloads. So we would head over to Uploads, Upload Files. This is the glitter pack you would receive and the sequence pack you will receive. Uh, let's go ahead and go in here and let's pick what colors. Your sequence pack comes with 100 different sequences. You know what, let's go ahead and look into that real quick before we pick on a bigger scale so we can see what comes in our glitter pack. You can see 100 different types of sequences. We have this one. Look how beautiful and realistic those look. Let's choose a purple one. Look how beautiful. So whatever sequence you would be interested, you have an array of colors here. This is our the 100, um, it kind of shows you all together what we have. And the same thing with the glitter. You hit your glitter and a ton of different glitters here. So you can choose, let's, let's pick this gold. Look how beautiful that gold is. Let's pick this one. This is a rose gold. So really high quality glitter images and sequences images. So as you can just see how beautiful. Let's zoom in. Look how, oh, don't zoom in that one. You know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and upload our sequences and pick which colors we want. As you can see, I've already uploaded some, but I'll show you how we did it. So just go to upload files, sequences, pick whatever sequence you want. Definitely want a gold, love a good gold. Then you would hit open and then we'll import your gold here. I'm going to head over to glitters to show you an example how to upload a glitter rainbow of course open and then it would upload your glitter there so i'm going to just copy this so i can all right so now that we have our frames selected now that we have our glitter and sequence selected that we want to use we can go ahead and start creating first thing we're going to do is just grab this you can put that there and then you hover it over the frame that you want it in, just like this. Boom. Okay, or you can click and grab, hover it, hover it over that F. As you can see, that F is highlighted, so it will go there. Grab, put it over this L. Beautiful. Red here, beautiful sequences oh we got all kinds of stuff in here let's see let's get some sequences mm, we have a good purple oh she's pretty so there we go that's our sequences glitters Oh, so pretty. Okay, more glitter. And then we have these bonus ones here. Let's bring those in. These came with the pack. You can put those there. Okay, so we get the gist of how to create glitter letters and numbers because it is the same with the numbers we're just going to fill these in real quick so we can i can head on over to the numbers so this is how we would get our glitter effects and if you want numbers you can also hit frames numbers here we go if you want a soccer team football team basketball team any kind of team so let's get 24 that was my son's Basketball number 24. And he was the Lakers. So some glitter. Oh, so pretty. You can do that. You can do, like if you wanted to do a name, you can go to, is it animate? How do you curve this? group 
can't remember how to do that. So you would group those if you would like to move those or they would be separate here. So like I did highlight and you see you can ungroup here or group here. You could also use, let's see, other frames that they might have under elements. I think they have like some stars. As you saw, I printed a star. They have hearts, pretty little hearts here. So we're just gonna go back to our uploads. Black, black glitter. I get black glitter requested a lot. Frames, oh, elements, here we go. Also frames are uh, where you can insert pictures and things like that. I believe that's what it's meant for. But today we are all about glitter and sequence. Here we go. We want to do a kind of for Halloween, not Halloween, for Christmas. You can do some, what color we want to make him? Red, all oh, a red sequence. How cute. Frames, what else y'all got in here? Okay, you, you get the idea. <laughs> So you get the idea of how to create glitter and sequins. And you guys saw how beautiful that it prints. So we want to go ahead and I've created this game sheet. Now we want to export the game sheet to submit for printing. Uh, you definitely want to, you know, fill this sheet up the best way that you can. This is just a mock-up. So we are just kind of going, just going to fill up the sheet. Last thing you want to do and most important is we're going to hit download. We're going to select PNG and we're going to hit size all the way over to 3.125. Most important to get the highest resolution for that file. We're going to hit transparent background because we do not want this gray printed. We do not want to compress the file and we can save the download settings. So we're going to go ahead and hit download. And we're gonna bring it into AI so I can show you the resolution and how beautiful it looks zoomed in. So we're just gonna wait for it to download. Again, you need Canva Pro. If I can show you here, these little crowns mean you need Canva Pro to do these settings and you definitely need it for that setting there. So let's head on over to AI. And we're gonna hit, we're gonna bring your file in here. Ooh, here we go. Nice and beautiful. I love these rangers. I think I'm gonna make some of those. So let's go ahead and zoom in 300 on how we would check resolution for any file. So we can see how beautifully high quality these are. These are from our sequence packs, and the numbers are from Canva. Look at those beautiful sequins. They have a realistic, realistic touch to them. So these are our sequins. As we know, those are beautiful, beautiful. Let's head up to our glitter. Okay, so this is one. This was a random effect there, which doesn't look too bad. Sequence, sequence. Here's that beautiful glitter. Beautiful glitter. All right, so I hope that helped you guys. Hold on, let's zoom on out. Okay, so there we have it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please comment down below or you can email us at ordernow at flashcustomtransfers.com. You can visit us online at flashcustomtransfers.com. And if you need any graphic designing services, such as a vector file, background removal, embroidery effect, or logo creation, you can email us at flashgraphics at flashcustomtransfers.com. Till next time, we'll see you then. Bye.